Hello, just a quick video to show you how you connect your eye spindle to BrewSpy. Um, so first of all, you need to open the web page, which is brewspy.app. This will bring you to this window here. Um, so if you haven't already, you click register to register your account or log in, um, which I'll do in a second. So BrewSpy comes in two flavors. There's an, actually an app for Android devices. If you use an iPhone or an iPad or a Mac, you just use the web version. The web version is exactly the same as the app, so don't worry. This is the web version we're on here. Um, so that said, I'm going to log in now. And as you see, it's just gone straight in. I had logged in earlier, bypassed the login and password bit. So this is your main screen. You have your recipes, your tap list, your settings, which we can discuss later on. But at the moment, this is just about adding your eye spindle. So to do that, you click Add Device. Uh, this window pops up here, click eye spindle and now it's asked you to create a name so I usually just use the color of my eye spindle so blue for argument's sake and then on the drop down box I click blue and I click OK so remember that drop down box where I chose the color that's the only reason why you do that so it comes up in the total bar and you can see it there so looking down here these are the um, this is the data I should say which you need to transfer onto your eye spindle. So you have the service type, the token, server address, server port, and the server URL. Or URL I should say. Um, so what we're going to do is show you how to transfer this data onto your eye spindle on the next screen. So I've put my eye spindle into config mode, and now I'm going to connect to it via the Wi-Fi on my PC. Um, every device is different how you connect your Wi-Fi, but as long as you're on a Wi-Fi enabled device, as for the previous video. Um, and you can see here, I spend on the score zero, zero, zero. This is the I spend I want to connect. So I'll connect up here. Once it's connected, my particular uh, PC opens up a new page. Yours may not. Um, just open up the web page once it's connected. Um, I will go to the iSpindle's web address, which is 192.168.4.1. Once that's done, a new page will open up. I'll need to go into the configuration page. And from here, I will put in the uh, local Wi-Fi details of my uh, home router, which mine is called Office. And the password was supposed to get put in because I've already done that, but you need to put that in. Um, I'll give it my name. I'll keep it the name as blue just to make it easier. The update interval time should be set to a minimum of 900 seconds. Battery conversion, you leave as it is. Unit Celsius, up to you, but I'm keeping it Celsius. And now we're over with the Bruce Spy settings. So, service type, service type HTTP, that's HTTP. Token. So this needs to go into this box here. If I was to click on this green button, this just copies data within that field. So I can copy. I'll go over to here and paste. So you can see that's identical and identical. The server address, copy into this box, paste. The port is the same, so nothing needs to be changed there. And then we have the server URL. I'll copy that from there and paste it here. Um, a polynomial, polynomial nominal um, I won't change. I just click save and after about five or six seconds I'll go over to the Bruce by page and refresh the screen and there you go. I just refreshed it. I'm now on the blue eye spindle and here's the data. So that's the time it just connected. Uh, this tells you your um, SG this is the temperature, battery strength, the Wi-Fi strength, and the tilt. It's just laying on its side at the moment. Uh, I can click into raw data, click into this, and it gives me all the information I need there. Um, so that's your eye spindle connected to Bruce by. Thank you very much.